Hello and welcome to Meadow Brown Bakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bake a Tottenham cake. Start off by preheating your oven to 175 degrees Celsius. I've got some butter, oil and sugar in my bowl and I'm going to start whisking this together. You can see the mixture is getting creamy and light in color. I'm going to keep on whisking until it's lighter and fluffier. When it's like this, I'm going to start adding in my eggs. Add them one at a time and whisk. I forgot to add my orange zest, so I'm going to add it now before I add in my third egg. It's quite a large orange, so I just need half of the zest. I'm using a zester. This is what a zester looks like. And now I add my last egg. And whisk. I've already weighed my flour, which I'm going to put in the mixture. And then I'm going to fold this mixture in. You see, I'm gently folding it in. My flour is all mixed in, so I'm going to put this mixture into my prepared cake tin. I'm going to use the knife to just level it out. And now I'm going to bake this in the oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, the cake is ready. I'm going to remove it from the cake tin. Flip the cake over and then peel off the paper. Leave this to cool completely before icing it. Okay, while your cake is cooling, make your icing that will go on top. I've got some icing sugar in the bowl. And I'm going to use raspberry flavor for this one. Instead of using raspberry flavor, you can make your own by cooking down some raspberries and then using the juice to make your icing, to make it pink. And then I'm going to add some water. You have to add your water a little bit at a time. And then mix this. And if it's not loose enough, you can add more water. It's too thick now, but I need it looser, so I'm just going to add a bit more water. You can add a teaspoon at a time just to be on the safe side because you don't want it to be too runny. Tottenham cake is usually made with the pink icing. You get the red color from the raspberries. So you boil some raspberries and reduce them on the stove. You then strain the raspberries and then you use that raspberry juice to make it pink. I've used raspberry flavor and I'm going to use some food coloring. I'm going to use some red food coloring and I'm not using a lot so that it goes pink instead of red. Okay, so I've got a nice dark pink here. I'm going to use it for the cake. I'm going to put the greaseproof paper I used in the tray earlier on and put my cake on it. It makes the mess easier to clean up. Put all your icing on top. If you don't have enough icing or you need to make some more icing, you can always make some more because it just depends how thick you like your icing. I use a knife to spread it. Put some gently to fall on the sides. Get some coconut and sprinkle it on top. Leave this to set before cutting. Okay, my icing is set and I'm going to cut it. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? Nice, fluffy, and delicious. 
Thanks for watching and see you again soon. For more videos like this, visit my website www.middlebrownbakery.com. Please like and subscribe to my channel.